Hello, statistics students. Today we're going to have a very short lesson, a little bit of review before a test or a quiz or something. Let's get right to it. I know you've been graphing lines probably since middle school. Many of you might have forgotten or you think you remember, but eh, what if the slope is funky? What if it isn't two down and one right? We're going to review how to graph a regression line because regression lines usually have funky slopes. Then we'll review what R, R squared, M, and B all tell us about a data set, not about the line, but about the data set itself. Let's see. So let's go to our first slide. And what we have here, let me get my screen set up. What we have here is a funky slope. It's not a nice integer value. And we have the equation y equals 38 hundredths x plus 1.4. Now, the 1.4 I can kind of eyeball over here. But how do I draw the second point? How do I get 0.38? Well, I could try to go up 0.38 and over 1. Well, if I graph this point, then I get this yellow line down here. If I'm just a smidge off, just I get that top one. Now I get this yellow line up here. And you can see that as we go out, as x gets bigger and bigger, the difference between those lines is getting greater and greater. Obviously, I need something to be a little more accurate for my graphing. What I recommend is the following. Pick two points that you can find easily and graph them. We know that 0, 1.4 is um, on the graph, so I can eyeball that. Now, what makes these two yellow lines so far apart? What makes them is just this change in this second value. You know, we always said we need two uh, points to graph a line. I'm off just a little bit, but because these, these two points, either this one and this one, or this one and this one, because they're too close to each other in the x direction, that's making things off crazy amounts out here as x gets bigger. What I recommend you do is pick a second point on this line and graph it. And to minimize this problem of uh, being off a little bit here and being off way out here, pick an x value way out here. Pick x equals 7. Substitute 7 in and then graph it. Now, I might be off a little bit here, but if I'm off a little bit here, I'm not going to be as far off as I am on these yellow lines. So to graph a, a regression equation, I recommend you pick two points spread far apart. Here I picked x equals 0 and x equals 7. They're spread far apart in the x direction. Graph those and that will make your graph much more accurate. <clears throat> All right, here I have a bunch of data points, and let's just say that the regression equation happens to be this one. Well, again, you don't want to try to go down uh, 0.37 and over 1. That's just going to be goofy. So plot your 0, 6. And then go to the far end of the graph, x equals 9. Substitute 9 in here. <clears throat> and we'll get approximately 2.67. Now if you graph this point, this point, and draw the line through it, your, the graph of your regression line is going to be much more accurate than if you tried to go down 0.37 and over 1.
Couple of test and quiz no-nos. <clears throat> if you graph a regression equation like this for these um, data points, you've done something wrong. So that was your algebra one review, how to graph a line. <clears throat> Let's review what these uh, variables tell us about the data set. A correlation coefficient tells us how linear the data set is. And you already know the rest of that. <clears throat> R squared, the coefficient of determination, tells us what proportion of a change in y can be explained by the linear relationship with x. So again, it's telling you um, on your regression line, which comes from your data set, if you go from this point on the regression line to that point on the regression line, how much of the change in y can be explained essentially by that regression line? The rest is unexplained. The slope is y over x. y in statistics is a response variable. x is the explanatory variable. So if you set the denominator x equal to 1, then your slope um, says that a change of one unit in the x direction will give you a change of um, m units, the slope, in the y direction, because it's y over x. And if x is 1, then y must equal m, the slope. And a, <clears throat> an interpretation of the y-intercept is if the x variable, the explanatory variable, has a value of 0, that means your point's going to be on the y-axis. Your regression and your regression equation, which is the model that you're using to uh, represent the data set, it'll predict a y variable of b. Now, I've um, talked in the past to how that isn't always a uh, a reasonable value, and it says that on your um, your term handout. It's not always a reasonable value. For instance. Um, UPS charges you um, by weight for you know shipping a product. Well, um, you could plot a bunch of weights and plot the cost and see if it's linear, but eventually you're going to get a, a an equation, and it's going to have a y-intercept because it's a mathematical equation. Of course, if your package weighs zero, then you're not really sending anything, and UPS isn't going to charge you anything but your model may still um, have some B value. So your Kachera handout says to, um, to determine whether, the, uh, whether this makes sense in your uh, specific situation. So that's all I wanted to remind you about today. Um, be prepared for the world's most difficult uh, assessment. Yeah, right. Anyway, have a great day.